hello everyone you're welcome to my channel all right so in this lesson we want to look at uh, the concept of plane geometry we want to continue it all right previously we've looked at uh, this concept and uh, we said that geometry is just about um, shapes and angles formed on them and so when you're talking about plane geometry means you're talking about plane shapes and angles formed on them and of course, you know, plane shapes and even solid shapes are formed by lines. Okay, so we started by discussing lines, that are straight lines, and angles formed on straight lines. So we specifically talked about two types of angles formed on straight lines, which are angles on a straight line and angles about a point. So there we said angles on a straight line sum up to 180 degrees. And then angles around a point sum up to 360 degrees. So depending on which one you are given, so you should be able to know what to do. All right. So but in this video, we want to push it a little bit further to angles formed on triangles. All right. Of course, you know that a triangle is also a plane shape. You know, of course, we're going to look at polygons in our next video. All right. So now under polygons you have polygons of three sides four sides called uh, quadrilaterals uh five sides pentagon six sides and so on so we are considering uh triangles that's polygons of three sides okay so now recall that like i said in geometry we are basically talking about shapes and angles formed on them so and for you to be able to discuss these angles you need a set of theorems that tells that tell you how to you know do arithmetic or mathematics with the angles formed on these shapes like we saw on trial on on straight lines angles on a straight line is 180 angles about a point is 360 so that those theorems help you navigate around angles on these uh, shapes okay so for triangles we are going to see basically four theorems uh, let me call it theorem one for this lesson okay that theorem says that the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees okay so now by implication if i have a triangle with angles a b c so what that implies is that the sum of these three angles is equal to 180 degrees okay okay so the second theorem says that if you have a triangle this way and that in that triangle there is the presence of an external angle okay so assume that here is a b c and then there is an external angle let's call it d so this theorem says that any external angle of a triangle is always equal to the sum of the two opposite internal angles. So if we make use of this diagram, the implication is that our D, which is the external angle, is equal to the two opposite internal angles, which is A plus B. So before the third theorem, we're going to do a definition, all right? And what is that definition? Okay, so now note that this symbol here represents triangles, all right? So they, like I said, isosceles, two sides are equal. Now, equilateral, all three sides. All three sides are equal. So now in math, we represent equal sides using a stroke. A line stroke so assume that these are the two sides that are equal so you use that kind of line to show that the two sides are equal now this uh, the third side is usually called the base of the isosceles triangle no matter where it is facing so even if I have something like this and these two are equal so this is still called the base so while here where the two equal sides are meeting is called the vertex. And so the angle formed here is called the vertex angle. 
while the two angles below here are called the base angles. All right, so that means here now these two are the base angles of that isosceles triangle. All right, so while if you have uh, a, a, an equilateral triangle, the three sides are equal. So you put the, the stroke of the line on the three sides. Okay, so now what then is the theorem that will help us around these two types of triangles? The two base angles of any isosceles triangle are always equal, and the three angles of any uh, equilateral triangle are all equal. All right, so, uh, so these four theorems, or what you can call rules, are uh, the tools you need to handle any problem on uh, geometry involving triangles. So let's look at examples. Okay, so now from the information we are giving, this is an isosceles triangle with the sign here. So it means these two sides are equal. So by implication, the base angles are equal. So solution, so what it means is that uh, our angle S is equal to 50 degrees. Very simple. And then um, we can quickly get this one by using some of the, what is the reason here? But of course, always put your reason, base angles of isosceles, okay? All right, and so how do we get our R? If we sum the three angles there, so 50 plus R plus S will be equal to 180. Why is it so? Because the sum of the angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. And so if we bring in our S, our S is 50, so we'll have 50 plus R plus 50 is equal to 180. So that means our R is 180 minus 50 plus 50 is 100, and so we have minus 100. Therefore, our R is um, 80 degrees. Okay, beautiful. So how do we get our T then? So from the second rule, we are told that uh, this is an external angle. And we are told that any external angle is always equal to the two opposite interior angles. So that means my T is equal to 50 plus R. But my R is what? 80 degrees. Therefore, my T is 130 degrees. And how you will know how beautiful math is, is that if you use angle on the straight line here, you will still get 130 degrees. Because of course, one uh, angle on the straight line is 180. And so 180 minus S will give us T. And our S is 50. So if we do 180 minus 50, we will get 130. So either ways, you will definitely get your solution. So the second example, we are to find the values of x, y, and z. And we are given angle 120. How do you do that? Okay. So, of course, from here, you can easily remember this is where that concept of starting from where you are given in mathematics is going to help you a lot. So, you start from what you are given to get the ones you want. So, from here, um, I have angles on a straight line there. So that means my so it means my y plus one twenty will be one eighty degrees because they are angles on a straight line. And so what that means is that my y is one eighty minus one twenty, which is sixty. And so you are done. What then is the value for x and z? From the diagram, you can see that what you have there is an equilateral triangle. That means all three angles are equal. Therefore, my x is 60 and uh, z is also 60 degrees. Now, this is one way of doing this. But another way to do this is that you can clearly see that this is an equilateral triangle. And since it's equilateral, that means x must be equal to y must be equal to z. And if that is so, so just divide the total sum of the angles in the triangle by 3. And that will give you the values for the three of them, which is 60 degrees. Okay, so let's look at the next example. Example three, we are to find the value of N and M. 
Now, meanwhile, please take note that uh, if you are not giving an information, especially when it comes to geometry, please don't assume. No matter how clearly the angle looks like a right angle, you know, don't assume it if you are not told. And how do we tell you that an angle is 90 degrees? Is by putting the sign here, the perpendicularity sign. And if it is not included, don't assume anything. All right, so here we are only giving angle 35. And so we are asked to find N and M. And we are also told that these sides are equal. So what are we going to do here to be able to get what we want? First of all, it's important to note that since these two sides are equal, therefore this angle must be equal to this one. So I can call here M also. And um, if I do that, what it means is that, please watch also. So you are going to observe that these two sides, that's from here to here, is also equal to from here to here. Therefore, this base angle must be equal to this one. So here is also 35. So you can clearly see that our M is equal to, that's this M, is an external angle to this triangle here. If you draw out that triangle, you are going to have something like this. So this M is an external angle to them. And so it will be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. So this is 35 plus 35. And so our M is equal to 70 degrees. And if our M is 70, recall that this is another triangle. So the sum of the three angles there will be equal to 180 degrees. And so this is 70, 70. So I have 140 plus N is equal to 180. And so my N alone will be equal to 180 minus 140, which is equal to 40 degrees. I, I hope that makes sense. So this is how to analyze problems when it comes to angles in triangles. All right, let's look at the next example. In this example, we are to find the value of M, and this is a wired question. What can you do here? There are two things that you can do here, and I'm going to do one, and um, I will allow you to find the others, or the, or the other approach that you can use. And what is that one thing that you can do here? Okay, so from here, uh, if you see this sign here, it means that this, this is actually a right angle. So this is 90 degrees. So I can actually complete the triangle here to make a complete triangle, a, a complete right angle triangle. And if I do that, so what can I achieve with that? Watch. So I'm looking for M. So I have formed another triangle here, which was not given, but it's going to help me. You know, in Geometry, you are allowed to do construction. So far as that construction is accurate, mathematically true. So now I'm allowed to put that line and it completes this triangle. And so see what will happen. So remember that the triangle, the right angle triangle is something like this. And the total angle here is not given. You are only given a part. And they say that that part is 33. So let me call the remaining X. And here, the total angle is also not given. They gave you a part, 22. Let me call the remaining Y. Okay, so by implication, what it then means is that if I consider the right angle triangle, so what it means is that this angle now is 33 plus X, while this one is 22 plus Y. And here is right angle. If I sum the three of them, which is 90 plus 33 degrees plus X, which is the F, plus this one, 22 plus Y, the total should give me what? 180 degrees. Why? Sum of the three angles of a triangle. Okay. So what that means is that my X plus Y is going to be equal to 180 minus, I will add these three. If you add this and this, you get 55 plus this, that's 145. 
And so my x plus y is equal to 35 degrees. See where I'm going. I want to get m. So now to get my m, if I add x and y and m, that's another triangle. And so I'm going to get another 180 degrees. So also, you can clearly see that my m plus x plus y is equal to 180 degrees. But I already have a value for x plus y. And my x plus y is 35 degrees from here. And that's equal to 180. Therefore, my m is actually equal to 180 minus 35, which is the 145 degrees that we had here originally. All right, so that's a, a very beautiful question, you know, involving angles in a triangle. So, you know, all of this is just understand those theorems. And when you are giving a diagram, you will now be looking at how can I apply those theorems that you know. You don't do anything outside the theorem. We had already done, like I said, angles on a straight line, angles at a point, and now we have done uh, angles in a triangle, external angle of a triangle, and the rest. I can actually apply external angles of a triangle to this diagram, and I will get the same answer. All right, so finally, we have this diagram. So we are asked to find the value of angle. This is a representation for angle A, E, B. So you must also learn how to name or label angles. For instance, here, I can call this angle angle ACB or ACP. And I can call this one, you know, there are two angles here. So the one that is 46 is actually BAP. Then this other one is CAP and so on. So the angle APB is APB. That's this one here. Okay, so that's what we are asked to find. All right, what do you do? This is very simple. And what is the concept there? If you watch here, you have about three triangles here. The big one, then this small one, and then this other one. Okay, so now the three strokes is telling you that uh, the three sides of the bigger triangle are all equal. So by implication, the three angles are all also equal. That means each of them will be 60 degrees. And so here will be 60 degrees. And that's all. So that means, let me call here X, the one I'm looking for. So if I add 46 plus 60 plus X, that will be equal to 180. Because this is also a triangle. And so sum of angles in a triangle is 180. And so this is going to give me 106 plus X is 180 degrees. Therefore, my x is 180 minus 106, and that is going to give me 74 degrees. All right, so that is what we have for this particular lesson, concept of the geometry on triangles. In our next video, we are going to see polygons and then other concepts, and then we'll begin to look at uh, plane, other plane geometry, angles formed on parallel lines. But before then, there is an exercise for you. All right, so here is the exercise for this lesson. Kindly find the value of angle BXC. Your BXC is here. That's BXC, this angle. Now, what is the meaning of this? This sign here is showing you that this angle is equal to this angle. And this sign here is showing you that this one is equal to that. That's the meaning of that. Okay, so put in the comment section your solution for angle BXC. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.